well viewers let's start the poem musical instruments by elizabeth barrett browning let's see what the poetess want to say musical instrument by elizabeth barrett browning before starting this poem let me come to the background of this poem the first line indicates the main character of the poem that is great god pan from the name itself it is clear that pan is some great personality who is considered as god greek god of nature and wild this god is having the head of a man and the lower body of a goat pan got a sight of syrinx wood nymph syrinx and fell in love with it her she attempted to escape his advances and to save herself she turned into reeds reeds are particularly a plant which is grown around the banks of the river and canals pan was very much troubled due to it he was not able to recognize his beloved and snatched away seven reeds suspicious reeds and cut them into pieces and fashioned them into a flute so in this way this poem came in existence so let's read the poem what was he doing the great god pan down in the reeds by the river spreading ruin and scattering ban splashing and paddling with hoofs of a goat and breaking the golden lilies afloat with the dragon fly on the river he tore out a reed and great god pan from the deep cool bed of the river the limpid water turbidly ran and the broken lilies a dying lay and the dragon fly had fled away er he brought it out of the river high on the shore sat the great cod pan while turbidly flowed the river and hacked and hewed as a great cod can with his hard bleak steel at the patent reed till there was not a sign of a leaf high on the shore sat the great cod pan while turbidly flowed the river he cut it short did the great cod pan how tall it stood in the river then drew the pip like the heart of a man steadily from the outside ring and notched the poor dry empty thing in holes as he sat by the river this is the way laughed the great cod pan laughed while he sat by the river the only way since god began to make 
sweet music they could succeed then dropping his mouth to a hole in the reed he blew in power by the river sweet 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 o pan piercing sweet by the river blinding sweet o great god pan the sun on the hill forgot to die and the lilies revived and the dragon fly came back to dream on the river yet half a beast is the great god pan to laugh as he sits by the river making a poet out of a man the true gods sigh for the cost and pain for the reed which grows never more again as a reed with the reeds in the river this is the poem now let's see the meanings and what the poet wants to say in these lines what was he going to do in the river this was the question that rose in the mind of the poet she is asking what was he doing the great god pan down in the reeds by the river spreading ruin and scattering ban a splashing and paddling with hoof of a goat to move the hands or feet about in shallow water and breaking the golden lilies afloat with the dragon fly on the river here great god pan is the main character of the poem she wants to ask him what that fellow is doing with the reeds reeds are the plants which are grown along with the banks of the river and canals they have sl- slender leaves and they are tall in size even higher than the height of a tall man spreading ruin and scattering ban a splashing and paddling with hoofs of a goat she is saying that you what are you doing there you are spreading everything you are ruining all the nature you are scattering every barricade what are you searching for you are splashing and paddling moving your legs with the hoofs of a goat as you know that god pan had the lower body of the goat and the head of the man the poet wants to ask what he was doing to move paddling means to move hands and feet in the shallow water and breaking the golden lilies afloat the lilies the beautiful lilies flowers which were in the river are plucked now and they are floating on the water and the dragon flies which were around them had to fled away due to your presence because they are scared of you they are frightened from you this was the wordly meaning of this stanza now let's see the first line the last word is pan in the same way the third line's last word 
is ban. So pan rhymes with ban. River rhymes with the last line again river and goat rhymes with a float. So the rhyming scheme becomes A B A C C B. A B A C C B. Now there are some alliterations also. Let's see like reeds and river in the second line. Our sound is being repeated. Then spreading, scattering, S sound is being repeated. Paddling and goat, G sound is being repeated. Splashing and hoofs, S sound is being repeated. So there are various examples of alliteration in this poem. I have given you the examples. You will find out various others and put in the comment below so that I could understand if you have got the concept of alliteration or not. Now let's see the second stanza. Before going to second stanza, I want to put a riddle. It's sestet written at the top. What is sestet? If you know, put your answer in the comment. He tore out a reed, a reed again, that plant, the great god Pan. Pan, God Pan, tore the reed as he was in search of his girlfriend from the deep cool bed of the river. The limpid water turbidly ran and the broken lilies a dying lay and the dragonfly had fled away ere he brought it out of the river. Limpid means muddy, uh, very clear, sorry. Limpid means clear water, turbidly ran. Now it is, it has become muddy. The clear water of the river has turned to be muddy and very cloudy. All the sediments which were settled down on the bed of the river have all got up and Turn the water dirty. And the broken lilies a dying lay. You have destroyed the lilies. Those broken flowers are lying all around. They are dying. And the dragonflies which were enjoying their presence had fled away before he brought it out of the river, before the reeds were taken out, all the system of the river was disturbed. High on the shore said the great god Pan. Now you have taken that and you are sitting on the high shore while turbidly flowed the river 
while you are sitting on the floor of the shore the water is terribly flowing in the river and hacked and hewed as a great god can with his hard bleak steel at the patent reed till there was not a sign of a leaf you sitting on the shore of the river you hacked you cut very roughly you cut the reeds very roughly and removed the leaves from it and the reed which was good to look earlier became very very ugly now till there was not the sign of a leaf you kept on doing all that till there was no sign of the leaf high on the shore sat the great cod pan while terribly flowed the river and he was settled down on the shore of the river while the river was flowing terribly was very fastly flowing he cut it short did the great god pan then the great god pan cut the reeds short how tall it stood in the river when they were in the river they were very tall but now he has cut them short then drew the pit with the heart of a man steadily from the outside ring and he hollowed it from inside and notched the poor dry empty thing and when he hollowed the reed there was a hollow pipe like structure and he notched he cut he made some cuts in the hollow stick in holes as he sat by the river while sitting there he emptied the inside of the reed made it hollow and made holes in it this is the way laughed the great god pan and after doing all that great god pan laughed he was happy he had revenged his girlfriend laughed while he sat by the river and while sitting there he laughed and laughed he enjoyed the happiness of revenging the only way since gods began to make sweet music they could succeed then dropping his mouth to a hole in the street he blew in power by the river and then he blowed with all his might through the pipe he had made and then what happened sweet 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 o oh pan piercing sweet by the river blinding sweet o oh great god pan the sun on the hill forgot to die and the lilies revived and the dragon fly came back to dream on the river what a sweet tune was produced it pierced around in the environment 
of that river it made the effect that they forgot everything the whole atmosphere became pleasant and the lilies which were destroyed revived and the dragonfly also came back near that river yet half a beast is the great god pan to laugh as he sits by the river making a poet out of a man the true gods sigh for the cost and pain for the reed which grows never more again as a reed with the reeds in the river now however the great god pan was a half beast and half man he did like that being a beast he destroyed everything he destroyed reeds but being a man he made that instrument with which a sweet tune can be produced and everything that was destroyed revived and made everything laugh now but due to it now no reed grew later never again they grew as a reed with reeds in the river in the river later no reed was grown this was the poem explanation we will talk about the question answers of this poem later on your demand thank you for watching the full video please like and share this video with your friends and also subscribe the channel if you have visited for the first time thank you thank you once again